Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. So today I'm taking a look at uh, something for the pet owners. Yes, I'm taking a look at a smart pet feeder and uh, this is the first time I've gone and used something like this. This is the first time my cat's been introduced to something like this. So um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, uh, he actually takes to this. So let's get into it. So the product I've gone and bought, uh, and there's quite a few of these different types of things on the market, um, but I obviously wanted something that was going to play nicely with my existing smart home network. Um, so I've gone and bought the Akara C1 pet feeder, and I'm, I'm really going to have to, I mean, you know, this is a wide angle lens, I'm going to have to get back so you can get this into shot. It's a huge box. Um, hopefully that's just packaging in there, and, uh, you know, the cat isn't... Uh, dwarfed by some kind of tower of food but um we'll take a look at that shortly so um this i bought this uh, off amazon uh on a, a special deal it wasn't black friday i probably should have bought it then because i think it was slightly cheaper however um i think this was about 85 pounds um which when you look at the other smart feeders on the market which they're kind of like the 50 odd 55 60 pounds mark does seem a little bit expensive um, but obviously it's coming from a big brand name like Akara um, however it is a Zigbee device uh, so obviously you know for those of you who have been watching my channel and my smart home uh, configuration setup you'll know that I've predominantly gone down the Zigbee route um, so this obviously is going to hopefully work quite nicely with that but if you don't have um, anything like that currently set up, then you are going to have to get an Akara hub as well. Uh, so that is additional cost onto the price of the pet feeder. And, and even though it's all over the listings on Amazon and it's on the box and stuff like that, you still uh, see reviews about people complaining that, oh, wow, you know, you've got to go and get a hub as well um, on the top of this. And I didn't realize that. So something to be aware of. Now, this particular pet feeder, why did it go for that? Well, obviously, the main one is the Zigbee uh, functionality, the connectivity that's there on it. The, um, the you know, Akara uh, quality, you know, they make really good devices. I have a lot of Akara devices on my Zigbee network. Um, and even though I don't use the Akara app, uh, you know, I have everything configured in, in Home Assistant. It just generally works. You know, there's a couple of little, um, you know, oddities sometimes that you get with devices. But, you know, from, from my point of view, I, f I find it works the vast majority of the time, almost straight away. Um, now, this particular model um, has a, a really large feeder size, probably more uh, than you'd probably want to put in for a cat. Uh, but obviously it will work for a dog as well, so um, bigger biscuits for a for a dog, um, so that will work fine. Um, you know, it's a really easy thing to go and, and set up. So we're going to have a look at what's in the box and um, you know just what you're going to get for your you know roughly eighty five pounds. So this is the Akara C One Pet Feeder, uh, a box so big I can't actually get it all into shot, um, but as per usual, you've got a whole load of bump. Uh, on here which will um, you know we'll go through uh, when we get it uh, unpacked uh, apparently it's the smartest pet feeder for cats and small dogs uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a, a judgment on that when uh, we come to use it uh, but you can integrate it with things like your um, Akara camera which we'll talk about a little bit later and uh, you've got your smart home device integration so um, let's just hopefully you can you'll be able to see what's inside here but let's just get the box open and um, see what is actually inside um, i'm hoping this is going to be an awful lot of packaging because it really is uh, you know it's a massive box um, so um, inside we've got our user manual so um, nothing particularly special there and then we've got uh, just under this phone packing so we've got the main unit itself uh, so this is yeah this is quite a large unit and I'll just get that out of the box and uh, that's it that's all that's in the box so uh, nothing special I suppose nice clean looking unit um, you know not 
any uh, kind of like glaring stuff. Um, barrel connector for the power supply. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then uh, we'll just peel off this here. Uh, so um, we've just got some simple buttons on the front there. No, you know, LED interface or anything like that. Um, just uh, the Acara logo and some buttons. Obviously designed to stop your uh, cat uh, from getting into this, I would say, rather than your dog. Um, but yeah, inside, so we've got a um, metal bowl and some packaging. Uh, and as you can see, that is the mechanism there that uh, is used to control the actual feeding of the biscuits. So you actually get a USB cable, so it's got... Um, got a barrel connector on it and a USB-A connection on the other end. Uh, I'd love to know why Acara have gone with a barrel connector rather than a USB-C, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice cable. It's a braided cable, um, so, you know, it's good quality, but, you know, it would have been better to have gone with a USB-C. I'm sure there's, there's a reason for it. Um, You've got some uh, silica gel, which um, whatever you do, don't throw that away. And then you get a, a metal feeding bowl and you've got the plastic base, which obviously the bowl can go in, or you can just feed uh, your pet with the plastic bowl if they don't like uh, metal containers. So it just pops on like that. Simple. And the food comes out and goes in the bowl. So I'm going to get this set up and uh, we'll see what this is like in use. So before I go through and actually get this thing set up and configured on the network, I'll just go through some of the kind of like the stats and the functionality as it were, um, just so you can really make a judgment as to whether this is right for you. So this particular feeder, um, the, the cable that comes with it, um, you know, it's not massively long. Uh, so you probably want this relatively close to a socket or you get uh, you know, a, a, a some kind of extension, something like that. Um, but it's nice that it's got the nylon braided uh, cord on it. I think that, you know, that is obviously, um, if any of your pets like to chew through cables, that will be an advantage. Um, it's also got the battery backup. So, uh, it, you know, it takes LR20 uh, batteries. Um, I think D9 is another another name for them, but it takes three of those. So um, you know, if you have some kind of outage or something like that, your your pet isn't going to starve. So obviously the container is, uh, you know, the the lid on it, you know, it clips down nice and tightly on there. It's also got an anti moisture sachet in the inside of the lid as well. So um, you know that will help keep the food inside the container nice and dry. Now. If you're just going to use the Acara app, you know, there's obviously there's, there's functionality in there, which I'm not going to go through in this video, but you know, you have all your scheduling and the kind of like portion size and so like that. Now in Home Assistant, and you'll see that shortly when I show you what options are available, and you get the, the same kind of functionality, but um, you, you know, you'll be able to set up automations for all of that. Um, and it's just really, really straightforward. So just on that food tank, I mean, it, it's, it's a four litre food tank, uh, which is, uh, for a cat is, is probably, you know, well, you know, my cat, he has a mix of, uh, you know, wet food and dry food during the day. So, you know, that's just basically gonna last forever for him. Um, but obviously, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, a dog, you know, a small dog, a medium sized dog, then that should be a good, amount for a reasonable period of time for them. I think one of the other really nice things with this is that if you do have, uh, you know, maybe one of the Acara cameras, um, you can obviously with the app, you can link all of that up and uh, it can detect if the, uh, if your pet has actually gone and eaten food um, and give you a notification for that as well. So that's quite a nice idea that uh, Acara have gone and implemented there. So as I say, it, it uses the Zigbee uh, protocol so you're going to need a hub of some sort whether you're using home assistant or whether you're just using the Acara app um, so factor that in into your cost and in terms of smart speakers where well, you've got your integration with Google Home your Amazon Alexa and your um, Apple Siri as well so um, 
you know, again, Akara, that full integration there, it also works with um, if this, then that. So uh, you're pretty much covered for what you're gonna need, to be honest, you know, whatever platform you use, uh, you know, they've, they've basically got you covered there. And just on the front, you can just see a few little buttons there. So you've got a, a feed once button, so it'll just give out your uh, defined portion size. Uh, you've got a voice recording button, which you can have it play back. And then you've got the reset button. So fairly simple on the actual unit itself. Obviously, the main stuff uh, is really from uh, controlling it with the app. So I'm just gonna get this set up. Now, the silica gel that I mentioned earlier, that needs to go into this uh, little area on the inside of the lid. Uh, so this will help keep the uh, moisture away from the biscuits. So um, yeah, I very nearly threw that away thinking it was just part of the packaging, but obviously not. Uh, always useful to read the manual. Um, so yeah, just lid back on. Um, and then I'm gonna fit the, uh, the battery backup uh, batteries uh, to the unit. So they are on the base. So I've gone and bought myself um, some uh, LR20 batteries. Uh, and the C1 pet feeder takes three of them. So no messing around with any kind of screws or anything like that. It's just a simple uh, click off lid. And uh, just pop the lid back on. And uh, all that's left to do now is to give it some power. So I'm just going to get this attached to my Zigbee network. So I've just got uh, Zigbee to MQTT. I've got to set that uh, to join mode. I'm just holding down uh, the button on the front. It goes into uh, repairing mode. And uh, within a few seconds, it, uh, it connects onto the network. Uh, really straightforward. So... Uh, now that I've got that into Home Assistant, uh, I'm going to pop some biscuits in. I'm not going to put the uh, the full amount in. This is just to test it uh, before I put it down for the cat. So um, there's a it, it, there is a certain size. There's kind of like I think there's like either a minimum or a maximum size uh, biscuit that it will actually take. So this is uh, just as you can see, kind of like standard cat biscuit size. Um, you know, obviously with dogs, they, they might be a, a, a bit bigger, but uh, just put some of those in there and uh, pop the lid back on. And then for the bowl, uh, so you literally just tilt the main unit back and slide the bowl underneath. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I've, obviously I've got no automation set up at the moment or anything like that. So uh, I'm not using the Akara app. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go into... Um, what is exposed in Zigbee to MQTT, and I'm going to set the uh, the weight that uh, can be delivered um, for one of the, the feeding sessions, as it were, and then I'm going to press the uh, feed button. So really, really straightforward if you just want to test that out. And, uh, and there you go, the biscuits have come out. So yeah, in use, well, the first time it went off, uh, the cat was kind of like, okay, what is this? Um, you know, there's always gonna be that level of interest, you know, something, you know, it's not the owner that's putting the food out. And this was kind of like one of the things that we were a little bit concerned about, you know, would he uh, want to be fed by something that was just putting food out? Um, but he is a bit of a food orientated cat. So um, yeah, he did eat the food and then, uh, you know the schedules that I got set up when that uh, happened you know with that ticked over he started getting quicker and quicker to the machine to go and get the food um, if he was eating you know maybe kind of like his wet food at the time when the food came out it would make him jump uh, so um, kind of yeah a bit of a bit of a strange one that it was inevitable it was always going to happen um, but now you know he's been using this for over a week uh, sometimes we see him sat there waiting for the food to come out. Um, you know, other times when, you know, he, hear, he hears the food kind of like tinkle in the metal bowl, he comes running straight to it. So um, no worries there at all about, um, you know, kind of like taking to uh, getting used to something that automatic that is actually feeding him. 
So like with all of these things, you do kind of wonder whether it is giving the right amount of food for the portion size that you've asked for. Um, so I've actually got a little bit of footage here, which I've just recorded off my phone, where uh, you know, I've just weighed the amount that's been dispensed from the machine, and it is absolutely spot on. We asked for eight grams, and it gave out eight grams. So if I just jump into Home Assistant and show you what I've got set up. So if I go into my devices, I've got the pet feeder uh, configured here, and uh, you can see these are the controls that are available for it, and then also I've got the sensors available for it as well. Um, now there is actually a schedule uh, sensor available. And obviously you can do that via the Acara app. haven't found a way of being able to do it via Home Assistant yet. So what I've done is I've set up an automation and uh, basically I've just got the four different uh, feeding times during the, the day and evening that, uh, that my cat gets fed and uh, when any one of those triggers then um, what it does is it sets the amount, uh, the weight of the food that is going to be given and then it executes the start feed function and that's it. So overall then, what is my opinion of this? Um, well, you know, I can't ask the cat, uh, but obviously he loves it because he's getting fed, um, you know, whether whether or not. And um, yeah, you know, you can see in the, clearly in the footage, you know, he, he's straight to the food. Um, the the build quality is really good of the product. Uh, it's really simple to set up. Um, is it pricey? I mean, you know, Wakara products are generally a little bit more expensive than um, kind of like equivalents from elsewhere. That is obviously reflected in, in the product, I suppose. Um, there are a few things that are, are, are good that I like about it. Uh, you know, the braided uh, power cord is, is really good. It's, you know, it's well thought out that. Um, the way it's all set up and everything, um, and you know, easy to get food in, that's really, really good. Um, I don't like the barrel connector for the USB connection. Uh, I do wonder why, um, you know, that wasn't a USB-C connection on the base of the unit. Um, you know, everything's going USB-C, so, you know, we've kind of got a different connection here with the USB-A uh, connection on the other end. The, there was no plug in the box so you know i've got to get put a plug to make it all work um so kind of like little niggles there one of the big things i guess that is um missing from it um, and i've certainly not seen it anywhere so akara you know if you're uh if you're watching this video i don't know whether you will you didn't send me the product i bought this myself um but uh i don't i can't see anything that would tell me the weight of the food that is left in the feeder um, so kind of like a low level detector or something like that i think that if that's not there then when you're doing version two of this product uh, i think that would be a really good idea to have that you know having things like the the voice and um, you know the, the various other functions that you've got in the integration with the camera and all that kind of stuff is really really good um, but being able to um, you know get notified that there's there's a low level of uh, food in the dispenser I think would be a really really good thing to have um, if I'm wrong there and it's actually something that's available please tell me you know if you're watching this uh, anybody you know if you've got one of these and it, and it is something that's available let me know down below in the comments um, but yeah I think it's a great product uh, you know if you're in a in a family where um, you may not always be around uh, for your pet during the day and you still want them to get food without leaving um, food out all day for them then you know a great option so um, let me know what you think down below in the comments um, you know always want to hear uh, you know your your opinion on these things um, you know let me know what you think about the video this is the first one in 4k on the channel so um, as always you know if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this uh, but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video for now.